welcome back to another episode of Formidable Fabrications. Um, quick question, do we have any nerds in the house? All right, I got a 50-50 response on this. What does my shirt say? Put a comment below and let me know if you know what that means. I've had a 50-50 mix of people that know what it means and people that look at me absolutely clueless. Okay, today's episode I promise I will not do any rants. This is a F-350 with a dump body, steak body dump body ex to be exact. And so what we're doing here is we're actually putting the diagonal supports on the inside of the bed, like I always talk about. So it'll be kind of like that, but like all the way down. So um, of course my Infinite Wisdom, I forgot to get the camera going before I started cutting steel and making marks on the bed for measurements. So one piece of steel cut and uh, right now I'm going to try and fit it up in this section over here. So uh, the worst part is going to be this corner. So normally in the corner like this, you could prop your steel up and put the edge of the steel like in the corner and then figure out where the line is, draw a line on the steel, cut it anyway. What, you, what, you're, gonna, what you're going for is the proper angle along here. So there's gonna be a piece of steel here and a piece of steel here and there's gonna, they're gonna be met up at a 45 degree angle. But when you cut this steel, since it's already at an angle, it's not gonna be a 45 degree cut. It's gonna be like a 60 or something in that ballpark. So. Normally it's pretty easy to do. You put the metal up here, put the metal, metal meets here. It's like, oh, there's the line, you mark it there. The other end of the metal is already in the corner. So you just meet the two and make the cut. But now I got this uh, cross beam in the way. So that's gonna be uh, a little bit more interesting. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a piece of cardboard and kind of fit the cardboard up in there and see exactly how I need to get this thing cut. So that's gonna be the only really hang up. Um, he cleaned the bed out for me really nice, which the bed's actually in beautiful shape. The truck's only maybe two years old and he just hauls light trash, mulch, topsoil, stuff like that. So we need a piece of cardboard that is bigger than that. What else do I got? All right, so I got a piece of cardboard that is six inches wide. It's the exact same width as the piece of metal I'm gonna use. So what I need to do is get this camera out of the mount. Oh, you know what? Let's use our handy dandy new toy that I got. It's a magnetic mount that I can adjust, which I don't have the other end for it. Crap. Stand by. Okay, that took way longer than it needed to for me to figure that out. Okay. Crap, now where's my cardboard? Some. All right. See how this works. <laughs> nice. Okay, so the metal is gonna go just like this. And it's gonna go up to there. <clears throat> I'll need the scissors. I gotta cut it like right about here. Okay, <clears throat> so that's how it's gonna. That's how it's gonna go. The other piece that is in here should butt up just like that, except it'll go all the way up. Not bad. All right, now it's time to mark the steel. Uh -oh. Ah, 
Oh god, this magnet's hard. Holy crap. Um, yeah. How am I gonna get this freaking thing off? Alright, so my magnet's stuck on the truck. I don't know how to get it off. I guess I should have put some uh, cardboard or something under it because that is not coming off. Holy crap. Well, I guess there's always that. All right. All right, that was an adventure. Okay. Cardboard. Mount. And it doesn't work worth a damn either. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Cardboard. Mount. Whatever. All right. So you mark the metal here. So this one's already cut to length. So if I cut that here, I doubt you can see it, but there is a line here. That should meet up perfectly with all those lines. Hopefully. All right. Let's get this thing cut. Let's see how easy this comes off the truck. Eh, I got lucky on that one. All right, we're back with another episode of What's That Smell? No, wait, no, this is Formidable Fabrication. Sorry, that'll be next episode. All right, so I got this thing cut. Let's, uh, let's get it fit up in here, see how it goes. Who has one available thumb and is a genius? This guy, while well, the thumb's holding the camera. So that looks perfect. Matches right up with the line. I got plenty of welding here, plenty of welding here. The other piece of steel should meet up perfectly with that. And that's, that's really it. So what I gotta do now is draw some lines across here. And then once I figure out where the metal's gonna lay. Then I need to take the wire wheel, clean off down to some bare steel, which now I have to switch mounts again because this mount doesn't fit into there unless I can figure out some way to reverse engineer a quick mount for that thing. So anyway, all right, we'll be back. Today, I am a genius. Well, at least I'm figuring this camera crap out pretty fast. So this thing has this mount on it. This has, well, this camera mount has a typical camera thing that goes in and you push that and click it and it goes in place. But I have since figured out that these sticky pads can go on here and then I can slide my camera mount, which looks like this. I can slide that in here and I can put it on like this. So now I can slide my camera, click, just like that. And now I can move it between impossible to pull off magnetic pole and my wife's professional camera stand, which I used some pretty heavy tape on the piece that holds the camera in place. Um, luckily, she doesn't use it much, but hopefully she won't be mad. <laughs>
Okay, for the welding today, I will be wearing my welding hat and my long gloves because uh, with short sleeves, it's you get a lot of um, little pops and stuff that get on your arms. So and frankly, I'm tired of burning my head too and I keep forgetting to wear this little welding, welding cap under my helmet. so everything is done I would have got more footage of it but honestly it was like if that's 12 foot that way then that's 24 feet of welding another 7 foot and 7s that's 14 so you're talking 26 and another 24 it was like 40 feet of just straight welding very boring so but that's the uh, that's the end product and there's caps on the ends so this provides tons of rigidity. The only thing you're hearing is the door smack it back and forth, but it adds a ton of rigidity to the walls. And then not only that is upright there and there are the two most common places for dirt and debris to get stuck in there. And they're the hardest to clean. So with these angled pieces, it'll allow the material to slide out easier so there won't be as much leftover debris in the corners. Please like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram, Formidable Fabrications, Facebook, Formidable Fabrications.